Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I'm going to be showcasing some XCOM Enemy Unknown gameplay. Now I'm just going to switch on my camera here, alright, so it's recording at the same time. So I'm going to be starting it up with Vogel Perf, but before I get into that, XCOM Enemy Unknown was developed by the same studio that developed Civilization V. So the port is just as good as Civilization V, if not better. Alright, if you wanted to buy it, now would be the time because it is currently on a Steam Summer Sale. Now my internet is a bit slow today, there's a couple of people using it. So if you were to see here, the price is pretty low right now. And it does officially support Linux. Alright, even the DLC which is, I think, Enemy Within, is also on Linux as well. So if you wanted to download all the DLCs, you can. I'm going to be doing that later after I buy it. So here, let's jump into the gameplay, but I'm not going to be starting up through Steam. For most of you, you will be, but I won't be, because I'd like to take a look at the performance. So I'm going to be using Valve's performance tool here, which is Vogelperf. I'm going to use Game Start, and uh, the number of, uh, ID of it is, I think, 200.510. Okay, let's hit Start on that. Click OK. So this is native. This part you're not going to have to do. I'm just doing this so we get to see the frames count on the top left. All right, I did modify the source code, so it's going to look different from whoever else uses this. So let's go to XCOM Enemy Unknown. I don't yet own uh, Enemy Within. I should buy it later today, hopefully. All right, so on the top left, you're going to be seeing the frames per second in magenta color. I've set it. I've also set it to bold. And it is currently going at about 30 frames per second whilst I'm recording with Simple Screen Recorder, which is pretty awesome. This is just the intro part though, so we'll actually see once we're in-game. I think all this first stuff is not rendered. I could be wrong. I think it's video, but I could, I could be completely wrong on that. So we're at the, the main menu here. We're looking at about 60 frames per second. Now this is a laptop, alright? An Asus laptop. I'm not using the usual desktop system that I'm on. So instead, what I'm running on here is a GTX 770M, okay? If we were to compare this to my desktop card, this is a low-end card, alright? This is very low-end. Even though it's a 7 cent, 770, it is uh, a desk, uh, laptop graphics card, so it has been cut down greatly in size. So under graphics, I have everything set to medium, uh, effects set to low, and texture detail set to high. I can max everything out, but for the sake of making this video smoother, I'm not going to. This is a laptop after all, not a desktop. So I'm just showing you how the gameplay works on a laptop. I have it set to 1920 by 1080p. VSync is disabled, so it should be able to soar higher if it can. Let's actually see what the frames are per second, because I don't know. I played this before uh, earlier yesterday, but I didn't have the frames per second on. I'm going to leave it to normal. I am going to enable Tori. Yep, accept. Hopefully this starts the game from the beginning. Hopefully it's not continuing where I left off. Completely native, works pretty awesome. I'm running on NVIDIA 331.38 drivers, if I'm not wrong. I haven't had time yet to install a 337 branch series, so I'm just using the ones available with Ubuntu. So here we are, starting up. This game feels very cinematic, which is awesome, okay? Because most games on Linux, you just jump into gameplay. There's no cinematics whatsoever most of the time. Look at that. Look at that. Looks beautiful. It's running at about 30 frames per second right now. Whilst I'm recording, okay, remember that recording will take a performance hit. If you remove the re recording altogether, I'm probably going to see maybe another 10 frames per second. Oh yeah. It's totally worthwhile to buy this. And if you're an AMD or Intel user, let me know. Let the rest of us know in the comments, how does this run for you? Does it run well? If it does run well, what drivers are you using? Run, baby, run! Oh, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. He done goofed. He done goofed. Goodbye, mate. Never to be seen again. I'm not sure. I think this is Germany. I'm just gonna be using my key. Uh, what's it? Keyboard and mouse here. The keyboard on this laptop is a SteelSeries keyboard, I think. I could be wrong. Hello, Commander. Hello, in Mr. Baldy. In the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this oh, Council man, look at that. of Nations it's absolutely has amazing. to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. 
to oversee our first and last line of defense. Oh my god, a triple A title on the next! It feels so good! ...on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Alright, so what I'll be showing you is hopefully just the first 15 to 20 minutes of gameplay, which is very tutorial-ish, or I think the whole first 15 to 20 minutes is tutorial. So they're going to be telling me what to do throughout the gameplay. And while it runs, we'll get to see the frames per second. So far, it's been keeping close steady to 30 frames per second, dropping to 25 sometimes. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3-1. All right. So this is the group I will be controlling at first, and they'll be going in. To Germany. At 1900 hours, Germany. Several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a down satellite, we so we're going to be exploring the first level and finding out what the heck that thing that dropped down is. I'm just going to skip this part and jump straight in. Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger. As you can see, there's a heck of a lot of cinematics, which is pretty awesome. Okay, set her down nearby. Here we are, in-game graphics. Oh my god, it looks so good. It looks so good. And it's keeping a steady 30 frames per second. Whilst I'm recording not just the graphics on the screen and the game sound, I'm also recording my microphone audio separately. All of this takes a very heavy toll on the system. Oh yeah, look at that. This looks freaking awesome. I was really surprised when I first ran this, I thought it would be buggy or problematic. I was expecting some sort of problems, but this is really high quality porting. You getting all this? Copy that Delta Squad. First 2K and Fire Axis really know what they're doing. And into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta one, take point. Delta one. Can that debris directly in front of you. Nice zoom in. Yes, time to go here. Uh, Delta 1 in position. Now I'm going to make it move a bit closer. Yeah, as you can see, this is a tutorial ish. They won't let me do what I want to do. I've done this before, though. It's exactly the same as what I did before. It's 40 frames per second right now in game. I'm impressed. Okay, Central. I read you. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. This is pretty cool. Whilst you're in game, the camera angles change and you get this sort of cinematic ish uh, feel for it. In the moment, you'll get to see these characters jump through the windows, which is pretty awesome. And there's no available cover between here and there. She looks a bit freaky, though, I gotta be honest. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Still looking at pretty high frames per second here. Doctor Volan, what's he saying? He is saying, "Help me." Help that me. Help me. Is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position, based on. As you can see, no gaps whatsoever. Smoothly running, 1920 by 1080p with the 331, the 38 drivers. No doubt I'll probably get even more performance if I were to jump to the 337 drivers. Right now I'm looking for stability though. Okay, we got that guy in position. Next guy. They really control your movements in the first part here. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or oh, what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Oh, that is nasty. Sir, I have visual on the That object. is seriously nasty. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. These guys are really professional. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. 
Okay, people. Now let's get inside. All right, this is where I get to get I get to tell the guy to smash the through the window. The window in front of you. Let's take a look. In position. Looks clear. Oh my god, this is fun. Get in there and get to cover. Look at that. Delta 2. No frame drops whatsoever. Take it down. And breaking some doors. Oh yeah. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy Delta Three. Something's definitely okay, off. Everyone. Get into position nearby. Oh, wow, we're going at sixty approach. solid sixty frames per second there. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have told him to go through the door. <laughs> <laughs> He appears to be in shock. No, he's dead, lady. He's dead. I don't like the looks of him. He dead. Delta three. Move in and disarm him. Carefully. I can't tell him to go here. Oh, okay. Bad idea. He's holding a freaking grenade for goodness sake. Oh, I think I just got a card. Sweet cupcakes. My God. Oh, we saw a short bit of frames per second. Wow, does that soldier look like a pretty boy? <laughs> oh! Pretty boy's down! Pretty boy is down! Oh my God, he's suicided. Okay, look, look at these little baldies. Oh, oh, he dead. He's dead. What a great way to start the game. Everyone's just dying. This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. Damn it! Delta two, your flank two. Find some better cover. All right, hit enter here. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. And click OK. Headshot. Nice shot. What's Delta next? Four, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Uh, I wish they'd let me control here. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Okay, let's go for that grenade. Oops. Boom! Shakalaka. Look at that! Solid 40 frames per second above. I'm really pushing this graphics card too. Oh, she's dead. They're all dead. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Wow. They all just died in the first mission. Central, I think that's it. It's over. They all seem to have very pretty eyes. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. Ooh. Okay, we suffered some frame losses there between videos. Then once we're actually in the game again, moving the graphics, we're all fine. Now I'm going to be choosing Europe instead of supporting North America because I like the bonus that you get here. Laboratories and workshops. We are coming home. Let's go back. So you're going to see the a small would you call it a hint or intro to what this game is like on Ubuntu? What? Or what oh, this game is like in total if you've never seen it whatever they gameplay are, before. They nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. The mission control is far beyond ours. Yeah, no duh. And I'd say our Prom work is cut out for us, doctor. Doctor. 
Are they all doctors? Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Man, this game looks so good! Oh my Officer god! Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. The last soldier that survived just now, poor guy. Watched all his teammates die. I've never had a tutorial like that, where you actually lose majority of all your teammates. I thought they were the main heroes to the game, and they just died. So yeah, let's go to the barracks. The soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Juan Ramirez. Juan Dalamela. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Okay, As Central, you, I get it. Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains a look at that, looks so good. We should continue his training look along the graphics. Lines. This soldier Fire will rocket. carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. All right, oh, I think that's it. Doctor Valen asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander to the research lab. So as you can see, they really hold your hand at the beginning of the game. They really hold your hand. They don't let you do whatever you want to do. So I can't select the other areas yet. So I go straight to research. Hello, Commander. My name is Doctor Valen. I'll see the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings... So we're still we seeing about 30 frames per second here. These are movie parts run in bank format, I think. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Don't believe this part is rendered, but I could be wrong. Now this part is rendered. You can actually see the textures load. There's a sharpness to it that the video doesn't have. So I'm going to go with weapon fragments. I prefer damage. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Wow, this game looks good. It sounds like you are needed elsewhere. No, duh. Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Very well, very well. Commander to mission control. Command All right, that should be enough for the first part of the gameplay. I'm not sure how long that was. I'm just going to save game here. Um, I'm going to put this into the empty slot. I should. I probably shouldn't have saved because I already have a save file. <laughs> okay, let's exit straight out. So that's it for this gameplay video, guys. The cards work. The achievements work. I've already gotten a few achievements so far. Uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. Both run on Linux. I just don't have Enemy Within yet. I'm going to download it, uh, purchase it and download it after this. If you wanted to buy this game, now is the time. It is seriously cheap while the Steam Summer Sale is happening. And as you can see just now, the performance is absolutely wonderful. One thing to note though, it is only 64-bit. Alright, that means that you cannot run this game on a 32-bit OS. If you are running 32-bit Linux or 32-bit uh, Ubuntu, which you can check at the top right here, and then you go to about this computer. You see here that I'm running 64-bit. OS type, 64-bit. If yours says 32-bit, you cannot play it. I recommend that you update to Ubuntu 64-bit. Upgrade. There's, there shouldn't be any issues if you change from 32-bit to 64-bit. And that is the way the industry is going anyway. Sooner or later, there will be all 64-bit. So that is it for this gameplay video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope that this will give you a bit of insight onto the performance of XCOM, Enemy Unknown. It is a quality port, just like Civilization V, I highly recommend you get it. For AMD users and Intel users, I'm not sure how it works out, so if you are one of those kind of users, you have the game and you've tried it, let us know in the comments below how it performs so everyone else can know as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and thanks for watching.